the election for, for, for president in Italy is always a very difficult challenge uh, because the rules, because of the rules, and because of the fact that uh, uh, the ballot is a secret ballot, uh, 1,009 lawmakers, and uh, this time in a very fragmented parliament. There's no majority in this parliament. The only majority is the large majority supporting Mario Draghi's coalition, my party, Democratic Party, uh, we are supporting Mario Draghi and we are supporting his coalition and his government. But the problem is that centre-right is not a majority, centre-left uh, is not majority, uh, and we need to find an agreement. This is why these three first ballots, uh, yesterday, today and tomorrow, will be without uh, a positive result. Uh, because for the fourth ballot, as you know, uh, for the rules, uh, uh, the 51% the of the majority will be required. Today, yesterday and tomorrow, it is two-thirds, so it is too difficult. And at that time, I think Thursday, that will be the right moment to find the right profile for uh, the candidate, for the President of the Republic. And, uh, of course, it's a, it's a very difficult challenge for the country. Uh, also, for this very moment, uh, uh, I have to say that uh, we need a profile of someone who is very uh, Atlantic, uh, reassuring markets. Uh, when I say Atlantic, I'm very much worried about what is happening uh, uh, between Ukraine and Russia. And we have to defend Ukraine. And as Europeans, we have to uh, uh, keep our ties very close with the US. So. Uh, I think in this very moment, uh, we, we need someone who is able to unify the country, as Mattarella did, but also someone able to reassure the markets and also to uh, uh, very clearly reaffirm the, the, the Italian uh, Atlantism uh, that is, I think, one of the most important uh, uh, thing in this very moment. Mr. Letta, good morning from Rome. You mentioned there the need to have a common agreement among the main political parties. You met Matteo Salvini on Monday. You're meeting with him again today. Do you think you can possibly reach an agreement with right-wing parties? Uh, we hope, and I have to say that it is absolutely necessary. Without agreements, uh, the president won't be elected uh, because of the rules and because of the fact that uh, we don't have the majority in the parliament as centre-left, but they don't have the majority as centre-right. What I have to say uh, to the right in Italy is that please don't do that. Don't try to uh, devise the parliament, divide the parliament uh, proposing divisive candidatures. Uh, I think it is very important in this very moment uh, to find a successor, a, a woman or a man able to be the successor of Mattarella as Mattarella was, very inclusive, someone who was able to unify the country. Uh, so this is our approach, uh, unifying the parliament, having a name that is super partes, as uh, we say. And at the same time, uh, we know very well that uh, Italy has today a sort of uh, uh, asset, a extraordinary asset, uh, in the person of Mario Draghi, uh, who is, uh, I think, today a, a great leader of our government and a fantastic asset for the country. So I think we have to combine in the decisions uh, the right decision for the president, at the same time the possibility to have the government working, uh, a government working for uh, the next 12 months for the application of the recovery plan uh, for the right spending of European money and at the same time for continuing uh, uh, this important role of Italy at the European level and with this Atlantic uh, tie that uh, I was mentioning in this very moment of confrontation with, with, with Russia.